Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's very early in the morning, it's like 7.30, it's June 2nd. I know if you've been following me from my first couple of videos when I was in the hospital last year, uh, well basically uh, the pseudocyst that was on my pancreas, if you don't know what that, you can, might as well can go back to all my old channels, it'll explain it, but the pseudocyst that was on my pancreas basically grew back. And it's not as big. I don't think it's as big as it was before, but um, it's there. So I have to have some procedures have done to pretty much figure out what's going on, why it's so bad, all that. I do still have some of the symptoms again. They came back, the nausea, some pain here and there. Um, but again, that's not supposed to happen because we don't know why it's so bad. Today, I have to have an um, endoscopic uh, ultrasound which is the EUS move so I'm not looking forward to that at all because every time I'm put to sleep I freak out and I panic and then now with all this COVID stuff going on I have to be by myself my mom normally when I'm in the hospital she's there with me until of course they wheel me into the, the room I can't be anywhere anymore but now she can't even come in the building so I have to be they're literally by myself, and it's scary because I, I know how I, I get panic and anxiety attacks for being in the hospital, so I don't know. We'll just see what goes on. Uh, yeah, we're going to see how my day is going to turn out. Stay tuned. I am currently at home. Um, it's now Thursday. I know I've missed like two days. Um, they ended up on Tuesday when I went in. They did the EUS and they also put one stent in. I still have to get another one in two weeks. Um, after I woke up, I didn't have my phone or anything, so that's why I wasn't recording. But after I woke up, I was in a lot of pain. Seems to always happen every time I wake up from procedure. And um, eventually they let me go home. So from Tuesday night to today, I've been in excruciating pain. My back has been just killing me back in my side. My stomach has been swollen. I haven't been able to eat anything. I mean, they already told me that I'm just supposed to be on clear liquids, but I haven't really been able to eat anything. I have a little bit of water mixed with some juice. I take sips of that. But they did tell me if after two days that I'm still in pain and nausea and all that, that I need to call them. So I called them about an hour ago and um, told them everything that was going on. So they're going to um, contact my surgeon and uh, let him know and then he'll either reach back out to them or reach back out to me and let me know what they want me to do. They either are going to tell me I need to go to the ER or they're going to prescribe me something. I don't know. But um, uh, I'm so ready for this to be over. It's like I've been dealing with this car for a year and it just does not seem to be getting any better. So hopefully they'll call back soon and um, yeah, see how it goes. overnight room they um ran my blood and they saw that i had um um uh the white blood cell count was high so they ended up doing a ct scan and um they haven't been able to get in touch with my gi so they figured the best oh, excuse me course of oh, excuse me course of action would be to keep me overnight in observation it's okay i mean I guess because of all this COVID stuff going on, like they didn't give me no pajamas, you know, they didn't give me a gown, they didn't give me anything. Um, I had to ask for a blanket and socks. Um, but the room was pretty small. 
I can read on and on. They're gonna be giving me meds like every three hours, I think. And they're giving me liquids. Oh, where is it? Right there. Because I am, once again, NPO. Always NPO. Anytime I come here, I'm not allowed to eat and drink anything. I haven't had a meal in four days. So, yeah, hungry. So I'm just going to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow. And hopefully my GI will be here. My surgeon will be here. And tell me what's going on next. They'll probably just send me home with some pain pills. And if it is an infection, probably just send me home with some pills for that too. So, we shall see. So, it is Friday. And I'm being sent home. It is uh, almost 1 p.m. They said that the stent that they put in on Tuesday is what's causing my pain. And I guess I should have known that um, that was what was going to happen because when they had the stent put in last summer, it caused me a lot of pain and they ended up taking it out sooner than it needed to come out. So, yeah, so they actually want to keep it in because if they take it out this time, they take it out too soon, then my cyst is just going to basically grow back and they're ultimately going to have to do like surgery, surgery, major risky surgery and cut off um, the head of my pancreas and I don't want them to do that so they're just going to wait it out. They prescribed me some um, some medications and um, yeah, I'm about to be sent home I'm waiting on my mom to come pick me up and I'm going to go home and eat. I have not eaten in four days and yeah then I gotta repeat this crap all over again in two weeks and on the 16th I have to come back and they have to put the um the long um uh stent in you do it over there this was the the long stent where it's gonna need to go do that hopefully the pain management will work and I won't have to come here until it's time for them to take them out that's the plan so it has definitely been a rough week um I wouldn't wish this on anybody I blame my son I 100,000% blame my son because I never had any health issues until I had him <laughs> I love him to death but damn you child <laughs> but um but yeah, so I said, about to go home and definitely take a shower, give me some food. I have to, they said to start eating slow, so I gotta eat like soups and stuff. I'm craving seafood, like craving seafood. So I think seafood, it's soft, it's not, I don't know. I just gotta make sure it's not too seasoned, but we'll see. So that is how my week has been.